You got a Ford vehicle equipped with SYNC 4 or SYNC 4A? Here's what I've been doing to get a ton of updates coming down to my truck over the air really quickly. I wasn't getting any updates on my vehicle, but since I started doing this, the updates have been coming down like crazy. Uh, so far, I've got four updates in the last three days, just to give you an idea. Okay, first thing you want to do, you want to reboot your screen here. Hold power, hold the right seek button. See what I'm doing down there? Hold that for five seconds. Screen's going to go blank. Once it goes blank, you let her go. Ford icon will come up here in a second and your system reboots. You wanna do that two times, not just once, twice. Okay, so we'll let it do its first update, or first reboot, I should say. Now we'll give her another one. Press and hold five seconds. She'll reboot, okay? There's a couple reasons for that, but in the interest of getting your car up to date, I am just going to tell you what to do. So after the second reboot is done, you want to get your vehicle onto Wi-Fi. If you haven't connected your car to your home Wi-Fi network or you don't have good Wi-Fi signal where your truck's usually parked, um, you want to do this uh, just for a couple minutes. We just have to send a few reports to Ford, and then we're going to rely on the cell phone connection in the vehicle to do the rest of the downloading and installing. Okay, so my system's just finishing rebooting here. There'll be a message in a second. got to hit close to. And then we can go. So you see, once you're connected to Wi-Fi successfully, top right corner of the screen, you'll get a little wireless icon, and that means you're successfully connected to Wi-Fi. All right, there we go. That's the end of the reboot process. So first thing you want to do when you're on Wi-Fi, go into the settings panel, go to general, scroll all the way to the bottom to send feedback. Scroll all the way to the bottom again, software update, wireless update not working and we want to submit that give your vehicle a second it'll gather some info and shoot it over your wi-fi connection to ford all right then you want to do the same thing again software update wireless update not working submit give it a sec off it goes next thing you want to do in your settings screen again, you want to go to System Updates. Then you want to go to Schedule Updates. Pick a time about 2-3 hours from now. Okay, so it's 6.21 p.m. here right now. So I'm going to go, I mean I just did this, so I'll go 8.46 just so, so the Save button will be available for me. So I'll hit Save. Good. Then next you want to do Update Details. Give it a sec. It's going to check for updates, but then it's just going to show you what the last update was on your truck. For me, it's 282. I've got one more update to go, then I'm right up to date. You can check Wikipedia. I'll put a link in the description here. It'll show you all the various versions and what the most recent one is. Okay, so I'm on 282. I've got one more update to go, and then I'm right up to date. Once I've done all of that, you want to shut off Wi-Fi. These new vehicles are equipped with a cell phone modem, and what they're going to do is download all your updates wirelessly for you without Wi-Fi. It'll use cell phone networks in order to do that. Highly recommend you park your vehicle now in an area that's got decent cell service, right? And here I'm not talking about 3G, I'm talking about LTE or better, with decent amount of bars on your phone. They've got pretty powerful antennas and modems in them, so as long as your phone gets decent service, your truck will too. So make sure your vehicle is now parked in an area or will be parked in an area over the next couple hours that has decent cell service. I've got good cell service in the country here and I haven't had to move my uh, vehicle at all. It just updates right here in the driveway. Okay, so once you shut your Wi-Fi off, turn your parking brake on. Um, again, there's good reasons for all of this. I'll put links in the description where you guys can see the rationale behind each of these steps. But um, make sure your parking brake is on. All right, next thing you want to do, make sure your truck's off. Exit your truck or vehicle. Lock the truck or vehicle. Don't leave the key in the car. Lock it. Walk away. Now, it could take up to 24, 36 hours before you start seeing something come in. If after 36 hours you don't get an update, repeat the exact same process I just taught you. Reboot the screen twice. Do all that stuff inside settings while you're connected to Wi-Fi. Send those two wireless update not working reports. Go into the uh, 
uh, system updates area, schedule the update for about two hours from now, click update details, shut your Wi-Fi off, and, uh, and off you go, okay? And you will get the updates really quickly. Now, there's a couple other things I'm gonna mention here. First, there is a wealth of information on forums if you really wanna get into this. If you're technically savvy, you can pay for a subscription to what's called FDRS, which is the Ford Dealer Repair System. It's a little app you put on your laptop and you can buy a little ODB2. That's a little port kind of under my leg here adapter where the truck can get programmed and diagnosed and all that. You can pay for both the adapter and for the software license and then update your truck the same way that uh, your dealer would do it. Now, the updates that you're getting through the power-up system here that Ford has is not comprehensive. Um, as an example, when I, I did buy this little module, the Mongoose module, and uh, paid for my FDRS subscription, I was able to update, oh, probably another 15 modules on the truck. So everything from this little guy here, the electronic gear shifter, to the little door switches, the driver door and passenger door modules, um, there was an update for the DSP for my uh, audio system. I've got the BNO um, 18 speaker system in here. Um, there was an update for my uh, my engine. The, the, uh, there was, there's a ton of stuff. If you want to tinker with it, you can do it. But the adapter is about 500 bucks, and then the subscription for two days is 50 or 60 bucks. So if you want to get into it, there's a lot of really neat stuff you can do. And if your vehicle is stuck on 171, you're able to fix that. Um, if your vehicle is equipped with Blue Cruise, that's Ford's kind of hands-free driving on divided highway system, you got to have that from the factory in order to do it. Um, but you're able to uh, install this series of updates using the adapter instead of waiting for it to come down via the OTA system. It's really, really cool. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can check it out. But if you just want your truck to update um, as it would uh, normally, uh, you'll have a lot of success with what I just taught you to do. Another thing I'll mention Sync 4 and Sync 4A are only about a year and a half, two years old now. They're done. This is the last model year for those on flagship products from Ford. So here I think of the F-150, the Lightning, Mustang, stuff like that. Um, it's not clear which products are moving away from it first. I think the only one that's been announced as of today, today's July the 1st, 2022, is the F-150 Lightning. But Ford is moving away from in-house developed sync-related stuff to Android Automotive, so an Android-based OS for their infotainment systems. This is fantastic news. As much as I think Sync 4 and 4A have gotten better, since even since I've gotten the truck, they're definitely better than Sync 3 and Sync 2 and in my Ford Touch before that. Um, there was a comment I'll put in the description as well from Ford CEO recently that Ford has just been spending millions of dollars trying to create an interface that's really no better than a cheap Android tablet. Um, but this uh, this new Android automotive stuff that's going to be deb debuting for a model year 23, really neat. Um, uh, and Ford's planning on pushing it right across their entire lineup. So I'm really excited to see that. I'm not sure if these head units are going to be able to be updated to the new Android automotive type system. I doubt it. But uh, I'm sure Ford will make that clear over the next few months as model year 23 vehicles are announced. Okay, so Sync 4, Sync 4A, all going away within the next year or two. Okay, there'll be a transition period over to the new Android system. Um, definitely excited about that. Any comments, questions, put them inside the, uh, uh, the comment box here. And, uh, and yeah, there you go. That's how you update your uh, Ford vehicles really quickly.